Miami. Of course, it's beautiful. The sun is out. But the unexpected took place. I end up getting sick. I, I throat hurting, back aching. I mean, absolutely underneath the weather. It was so bad that I actually had to sit down a couple of days. Um, but being sick allowed me the opportunity to spend some time and to really, really, I mean, just have that time with me and God. And it was very difficult for me this morning to be able to minister because I knew I was sick, but the Lord, I knew he was gonna move in such a special way. I just I just knew it. Even if it took a, some, some missing notes and the cracked voice, it was okay because it's all for him, it's all for his glory. But surprisingly, <laughs> amazingly, the way that God does, he showed up and he showed out and I'm so thankful for it. At some point you have to ask yourself, is your methodology, is your way of thinking, if your way of living, is it reaching people? And listen to me, if it's not, then you should probably consider taking another direction. Because when Pastor and Laudy came up here, they said at one point it was each one reach one. They're on another level now. They said each one reach seven. Some of you heard that concept. It went one ear and out the other. you like, reach somebody. No, you just keep having good music, and I'm just going to keep paying my tithe and offering, and you're good. Listen to me. You can't expect the power of God without being radical. You can't be lukewarm but still have the anointing. It ain't possible. So you praying for the power of God? You want the anointing of God? You got to do some extra stuff. You got to move from just praying. You got to start fasting. You got to start giving. You got to start sacrificing. You got to start denying yourself, moving past your emotions. If we're going to be men and women who are disciplined, disciples of Jesus Christ, and some of you are like, okay, I get it. Well, how do I do that? Don't worry about how you do that. Be filled with the Spirit of God, and he'll tell you. I ain't come up with this grace tour. I'm like, how in the world, God, you gave us a Mercedes-Benz Sprinter van, extra high, extra long, with storage in the back, with leather bucket seats, with a dog on TV and Xbox. How you do that, God? He says, son, you rocking with me. You rocking with the best. Today, you know, I was blessed and honored to be able to preach at the Tabernacle Church, and I don't know what happened. The spirit just came over me and I just uh, I just preached the word of God, you know, and I just really feel like the problem with a lot of churches today is that we try to convert people to specific denominations as opposed to trying to make disciples of Jesus Christ. And so I had to touch on that. As uncomfortable as it was, that's what God had me do. I decided to get baptized and was baptized February 8th. Hasn't even been a year, so God can use you. I'll keep reinforcing that. Hasn't even been a year for me. And God said, all right, your baptism's not just for you. It's for your partners, because everybody that was under you, everybody that you influenced, everybody you led wrong, you're gonna have to stand for me now. I decided to get re-baptized, because I got baptized when I was a little kid, but that's just because, you feel me? You just got baptized, just because. But uh, I felt like this pressure, like, son telling me I lie, I couldn't keep still, I kept shaking, like my leg keep shaking. I'm just like uncomfortable. And then I look, and as soon as I look to the side, Brian looking right at me, so I'm like, dang. I just went up there. I ain't feel the pressure no more. You know, if there's anything that I liked about being here, it was everything, but I love that real people are, are speaking a real message and um, it, it was very touching to be here tonight and an honor and um, these are great people um, just spreading the word and the truth and um, we need more people like Jeremy and Jillian and, and everybody on this bus, I'm going to call it the love bus because it's delivering a message of love.